Hello, the internet staff right here, back in the spirit bearer. We're gonna do... We're gonna do the lighthouses. That is the objective for this episode. This is all three lighthouses. I can do three. Um, we are gonna do one little pit stop first. We're gonna go to the shadow forest, because it's right here. Uh, and yes. Then we're gonna do the lighthouses. So let's take care of things first. Oh, look at all the vegetables I got now. Those grab bags were awesome. I have two treasure maps. We're not doing those today. Lighthouses after Shadow Forest. That's what we're doing. No distractions. Well, I mean, besides the obvious stuff, like, you know, cooking and taking care of our guests. Okay, and I just got a sea urchin, and I imagine you do something with the sea urchin besides just cook it. Um, but, you know, I don't know what. Fireball with chicken? Have I ever done that? Well, we're gonna do it now. I'm sure I probably have, um, but I forget. You know, because reasons. I think I have, well, besides Stanley's house, which I still have to get upgraded, um, I think I have everything else improved. Well, of course, now I have Elena on here. I gotta build her house, of course, which I don't have uh, anything for yet. Oh! I don't have a blueprint for the or- I don't- I've never had an upgraded orchard? Huh. Well, look at me. And then XP potions, which I gotta- like, I can get him from Buck. I just don't know how. Alright, the Shadow Forest. Let's see what we got. Some pine. I don't know if I need any more pine. We're gonna cut it down anyway. Cause you just never- I don't know- I'm assuming I'm gonna need pine for Elena's house. Just because that seems to be the highest tree that I need. But, uh, yeah. So we're just gonna grab some just in case. Because it looks like we are in the home stretch as far as gameplay is concerned. Uh, hello? There! <clears throat> um. Okie dokie. Was, was this it? That can't just be it. What? Really? Just, just some pine trees? Uh, Daffodil... <laughs> propels herself with little bursts of gas. <laughs> that is an old joke from the old comic Mother Goose and Grimm. Okay, well, I'm glad we visited that. Got some pine trees. All right, well then, let's see. Now it just opens a bus. It looks like there's still something here as well. Um, no distractions though. Lighthouse. And I think the nearest lighthouse. There we go. Hakashima, where we found Buck to begin with. Here already? Well, okay then. Let's go ashore. 
We oh okay. Do you have? No. I thought perhaps he would tell me about food, food whatever um, that uh, Stanley wants. And, oh wait, hey, <laughs> there's a treasure up there. Can get. Can get this. Some peaches. Okay. All right. So we got those. <laughs> oh, come on. There we are. Oh no, wrong button, wrong button, hold on, whoa, phew! <laughs> we almost went away! Ah! The first, the fires of Tondor. Boing! Woo! Okay, one down! Right? And does it just tell, does it tell me, I know where the second one is. Um, oh, the, okay. The sandwich walk. I haven't found the sandwich walk yet. I don't know where that is. <laughs> Wonderful, you did it, Commander. The first fire has been lit. You can hear the hopeful chants of the free people from afar. Your worth is grander than the mightiest arm of Rook Thor the Paladin. The moonbirds of Wa Iran will soon sing your praises in all the languages of Romalda. But Commander, as a brighter moment of joy can shine, we have to remain vigilant. Golmatha and his lackeys will probably be alerted by the sight of our glorious fire. And lurking in the branches. Roll initiative! Fifteen! Great! Amidst the squalor of the exotic foliage, you can clearly decipher a group of orcs and goblins progressing towards your encampment. Getting closer. Springing from the re their retreat, they jump on you! Fight! Oh, okay, good. XP. Okay, I just want- there we go. See, I just want the shadow ones. I mean, yeah, these are some cheap glim, but I need the XP bottles. There we go, nice. Let's see, it's not- it's not gonna be charged in time. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Thought I was gonna miss it for a second. Dang it. Now I got that one at least. There. Ah, crap. Nice two there. Yeah, that actually hits a lot bigger than I thought it does. Okay. Alright, are we all done, Buck? Victory! The dust from what was an epic battle barely settles. Layers upon layers of evil carcasses litter the ground of the battlefield. You're exhausted, but once again victorious. Make a perception check! Fourteen! Success! As you observe your defeated enemies, you can only wonder where Golmagata lies. He is nowhere to be seen. His pathetic retreat doesn't surprise you. He is a follower of Gormaloth, after all, and his cowardice notable. Quick, let's ride post haste! Next fire awaits! Onward! Okay then. Let me just see here. Uh, maybe we're gonna have to just go through this big spot. Uh, because, yeah, I don't think we found whatever that place. Wait, what is this? this? Oh, there it is, the sandwich walk. We did find it. There's a sheep there, too. Uh, so, yeah, I guess that's where we're gonna go. And it looks like, I mean, yeah, there's probably not much here. Okay, so we did find the sandwich walk. Good morning already? 
I suppose I should be paying attention to that because <laughs> since we're driving all night, I'm not looking at the bell. <laughs> okay, everybody else needs to get up. Buck, Stanley, get out of bed. <laughs> the chickens. I used to be a teacher. I still am. Back then I had a classroom. The kind of school that made sure each student passed. The kind of school that teaches that money can buy everything. And every September it was full of students ready to learn. Each year, however, they failed to impress me. Chatting amongst themselves, passing glances around, closing their ears and their minds to my lessons. Immature little shits. All of them. Okay. <laughs> Here, do you like disgusting stuff? Okay, nobody likes disgusting stuff. <laughs> no meat, ever! You're a dog and you don't want meat? What in the world? Okay. Um, do, do you count fish as meat? Here, how about some noodle sleep? There you go. They're okay with that. Student, must I do everything for you? You have not prepared logic for me. Write this quickly. Something sparse. No frills. And I need it post haste. Go now. Okay, Elena's cubicle. Woo! Four walls and a roof. Steel, linen, and pine. Okay, well, that was pointless, but that's okay. We're gonna build it. <laughs> Decked out. Whoops, no, no. Well, this will do. This will do nicely, but let me warn you, I need the bare minimum. Please do not add anything to these quarters, not a single ornament. Okay, if that's what you would like, I will oblige. Yeah, it doesn't need to be on the ladder there, it's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Alright, so here we are at our next torch. Oh, I should probably do something with you too, eh? Since we're here. Alright, let's feed it. Okay, Sheep Ranger! Oh, whoops. There, Fires of Tondor Part 2! Whoops! Spooshies! No, I don't want to feed. We gotta go. I'm gonna have to build another sheep pen, obviously, but... Alright, Buck. Superb! As the second fire of Tondor is lit, clamors of exhalation spread throughout the vast expanses of the kingdom. The Chosen One has arrived! She who bears the light will help us all! Glory to the Commander! Glory to Hallor! Your heart lifted by such grandiose acclamation, your soul irritates with serenity, but your mind remains watchful and perceptive. You know that, stirred by an upheaval that marks their near demise, the orcs of the Shadow Seal clan must be closing on your position. And, lo and behold, roll initiative! 20! Critical! Without a motive of hesitation, you jump into the fray. Taking by surprise the approaching phalanx of orc fighters, you ready yourself to mow through them with the deftness and style. Fight! Okay. <sighs> Oh, dang it, wrong button. Dang it. That was a waste. Not gonna get any XP this time. There's something at least. Nice. 
twice, I got two there. Okay, we're done. Okay then. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> what a fight! They didn't stand a chance! The remains of their shattered dark armor is promptly blown away by the swift northern wind. Commander, you are victorious once again! And this time, Gaul Makata couldn't oppose your strength and was heroically slain. The orcs of the Shadow Seal Clan shall henceforth dread your might, Commander. Cunning they will have to prove to, an attempt, to even attempt to find you. But let's not dwaddle a second more. Your goal is within your grasp, Commander. Let's set sail again! On to the ultimate fire of Tondor! Okay, on to the third. All right, whoops, nope, 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 nope. And that is way... Well, is there a bus stop nearby? <laughs> Maybe we'll find a bus stop. <laughs> ah, there's two of them that are kind of close. There, let's go to the bus stop. <laughs> Save some time. Um, I gotta make some paper, though. If I remember how to cook it. Paper. Uh, glue and sawdust. Do I have any glue? I don't have any glue. Can I smelt any glue? I don't have any glue to smelt. Crap! All right, well, I guess we're not making paper. So here we are, the third lighthouse. And this is probably going to be the end of the quest for Buck. Still can't get in. Okay. Nobody wants to give me a key. I'll just climb up here. It's fine. Everything is illuminated. <laughs> Sublime! At last! The world erupts in elation! All the fires have been lit. Tondor has arisen. The lich god Gordon Imloth is on the verge of being defeated once more. But what is it? What is that terrible ruckus you hear? A thousand war hordes roar at once. Could it be? Faithfully, yes. The final assault of the Shadow Steel Clan, led by One Eye Amargoth himself, clad in the eldritch armor of Rongmar, Amargoth points his loathsome blade at you. You won't escape me this time, you miserable maggot. I will destroy you in the hopes of this world! Trembling in fear and apprehension, you gather your inner strength to face the enemy! Make a courage check! 18! Success! The orc won't scare you, for you are the Lightbringer! The Chosen One! Now the time has come for you to show them what you are made of! Fight! Okie dokie! Oh wait, why did menu open? That was weird. <sighs> there we go. <laughs> Did 
Just spamming, spamming, dang it. I like how Buck is following you through the whole thing, too. Okay, there we go. Nope, too far away. Oh, oh, and we're done. Okay, Buck. Oh, here, let's get you some food. <laughs> Why haven't I given him a pizza? What kind of nerd doesn't like pizza anyway? So is that it? I thought he'd have some big exposition about, you know, defeating our enemies. Come on now. Let's follow him. Oh, there we go. Unimaginable! Through the thick mist of the aftermath, a silhouette is barely discernible against the terrifying backdrop of a gargantuan battle. All three people of the world are holding their breath, hearts pounding in their chests. A deafening silence creeps in an atmosphere thick as rock. Victory! The Chosen One has triumphed! She who bears the light has conquered! In a crackling sound of terror, Gordon of Loth's shadow stops immediately, its course over the darkened sky. The Lich God is no more! May the Radiant Bay bless your souls! May Haller forever watch your, over your path! May the graces of Emma Olda sing our praises for aeons to come! The world is saved! And now, jaded but jolly, the hero stands up once more. Looking at the horizon, her heart fills with hope and her resolve stronger than ever. A chapter of her adventure might be collided, but her story is far from over. Rejoice, free people of the world, for the Chosen One will be back. But for now, she will rest her heavy shoulders, unload her burden, and once more gaze at the stars. Hot damn, I'm tired. Congrats! You did it, Stella! Okay, now if you don't mind, I need to take a break. I'll take some time to think about what great adventure we could do next. A space opera with lasers and spaceships? A post-apocalyptic road war setting? Or a horrific eldritch adventure with cosmic horrors, maybe? We'll see. And there it is. <laughs> All the lights have been lit. Let's play Susan a visit since we're here. I do really like. I know she's such a she's such a sarcastic nothing, but <laughs> What do you want? Get on with it already. Oh, I'm missing a figurine yet. Crumb. Well, I get a reward for this. Oh, great. While you were slaying fish left and right, I was doing something important. No, I'm not telling you. That would break my sacred oath as a collector. I am duty-bound to take that secret to the great beyond. Leave my island. I've got more important things to do. Ooh. Oh! I haven't made that yet! Oh yeah, well we can claim this. More dishes. That's incredible. New spear fairs never cease to amaze me. Always relying on that Everlight. What a life you must have. <laughs> Ashes outfit. Anything else I can get? I can probably get whatever this is. Because what is it? Brass, bronze, electrum, steel. Yeah, it's just whatever I haven't made yet. <laughs> So let's check it out on the ship, quick. Aww. Yes, a daffodil. <laughs> let's see if I can actually make it. Uh, everybody needs to get up. <laughs> There's the bell. Okay, um... 
Good morning, good morning, good morning. Okay, so yeah, so I made brass, I made bronze, crystal glass, electrum, clear glass, steel, celestial. Have I made a celestial sheet? I don't remember which one she said, but we're gonna make the rose glass and we're gonna make the celestial and then I think that'll cover our bases. Ding! Okay, there it is. Mm. More oh. ignits. Where are we at now? Mm. You're right, it doesn't mm. matter. It's all pointless with you. Here's something. Mm. Consider it a token of my faith in you. It's not much. Yay, a smithy upgrade! Whoopee! Mm. Oh. Alright, so... What happened with Buck? First couple things. Um, sheep corral, sheep corral, sheep corral. I don't have enough of anything. Okay, buck. Buck. Okay. Hey, Stella. Wow, I'm impressed. Your playstyle has been so good so far. I mean, your spells could be a bit optimized for sure, but your roleplay is frackin' A. Even Bob was impressed. And, yeah, we've never had a girl at the table before. We're happy you're here. I'm really happy. I'll try to finish the campaign to the best of my ability. More NPCs, more background elements, more magic items. I mean, Stella, I, 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 well, I can't believe the campaign is over. I mean, yeah, I'm thrilled, but I don't know. I feel empty now. Ah, you know what? I'll prepare a little something else for you. Something simpler, maybe, just to take a breather. You'll see. Really? Hmm. Well, okay then. Um, I was kind of thinking that would be the end of Buck's journey, but um, apparently that's not the case. Yeah, in a shop or something on an island. I know, I've looked. I have looked, little guy. Oh, <laughs> uh, here, let's... Do we have a bullet here? Have some candy. Have some candy! Um, well, alright then, I guess... Wait. Oh, can I just start it? Oh, okay. No, we don't want to do that. Um, I guess that I'm just gonna end the episode here. Uh, I still have to get, like, strawberries and raspberries, and that's just gonna take farming and whatnot. Um, so I guess we'll pick it up next time. So, thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, ring that bell, subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all later. See